How did you find your pilgrimage, Karen? It was grand. During the night, um, it was very hard. Even the first station, I was actually quite tired, but then it came round again, and the night went fast after that, and morning mass was actually quite good. I said I went all during morning mass, and yesterday was fine. It was good. It went very fast. But I'm happy to be finished, but I'm so glad that I did it, and I feel great. Okay, what advice would you give to someone considering doing that for the first time? I would say to definitely do it and to just take it one step at a time and don't be thinking too far ahead. Just come on the island and uh, just think about doing your first station, then think about doing your second one and so on. And don't be jumping ahead, just because it does go very quickly. So when you're here, uh, as strange as it sounds, you should just enjoy it and take one step at a time. And get to know the other pilgrims and speak to them and you'll have loads of support. And Flanagan. And how many times have you completed Loch Derg? This is my fourth time doing it. And how did you find it this year compared to other years? Mary? Um, I thought this year was easier. Um, I didn't find, I wasn't so tired and the night went quite quickly, which was great. Um, and yeah, it wasn't too bad this time, thankfully. <laughs> what advice would you give to someone thinking about doing Loch Derg for the first time? Um, I would say definitely do it. I think it's, it's an experience that everybody should have, it's really good. Um, and practically, bring lots of clothes and eat a massive meal <laughs> before. But there's nothing really you can do with the sleep, you can't really help anything about that. But um, I would definitely recommend people to do it, because it's, it's amazing. And will you do it again, right? Yeah, definitely.